a certain position of tying things together. But I have never let that position mean anything to me. It is just the message that I must get out that burns in my heart. And this is the way God has led me. I have renounced position. Somebody comes and they say to me, well, what about all these groups you got? Are they? In fact, the fellow asked me this this last week. He said, are these groups you got New Testament groups? <laughs> I knew where he was headed, but I wanted to see if he could spell it out for me. <laughs> I said, what exactly do you mean? Well, he says, do you have apostles, prophets, pastors, teachers, and evangelists? I said, yes, yes. Well, I said, how many do you have in a church? Do you just have one apostle in a church? Oh, I said, we may have 30 or 40. <laughs> oh, he, said, he says, that's wonderful. <laughs> he said, that must be a blessing to the great crowd. Oh, I said, it's the whole crowd. <laughs> it's the whole group. How many prophets you got? 30 or 40 in that group. Well, who's the pastor? All 30 and 40. Who's the teacher? Well, uh, he answered it by then and said, I guess all of them. I said, yes, they're all evangelists too. Well, he was really in a dilemma by then. <laughs> he said, what are you really saying? I'm saying Christ is in him, and he's the apostle, the prophet, the pastor, the teacher, the evangelist. There's no such thing in the New Testament as man being those things, not if he's dead. <laughs> what do we have? We have renounced the things of dishonesty. We won't walk in craftiness. I won't say the Lord gave me a ministry. I won't say that we are great, we are famous, we are powerful. Why? That's being crafty with you. When the real fact is we've got nothing aside from Christ in us and Christ in us is our all. Amen. What does that mean? That means every one of you by Christ in you have every ministry you're supposed to have. Now your task in life is to find that out. And that's where the preaching of the gospel comes in. If we rightfully preach the gospel, you will discover along the way how God created you. There are some of you in this group that are givers. You know that already. You're givers. You give yourself. If there's a piece of paper on the floor, I'll watch and you'll be the one come pick it up. You're servers. You serve everywhere. There's some of you that are teachers. You'll sit down with somebody and you'll talk to them endlessly. Teachers. You're not the teacher. Don't be dishonest. Don't get crafty and think, hey, I really got a ministry in this. Lady, <laughs> lady said to me the other day, she said, you know, I found out everybody I prayed for got healed. And then I realized what had happened. She had had some success, and so she figured this was her ministry. But you see, her doesn't have a ministry. Her has Christ in her. The ministry is his, and that may be the way he works through her creation. That's the way he works through her. So we have renounced this dishonesty. When you come to me and say, well, I can't listen to that preacher anymore, you may not know what you've done, but you have renounced his dishonesty. He's not preaching the truth. And you can't sit there and watch it co-mingle and the law heap back on the people. You have to get up and walk out. Why? We have renounced dishonesty and craftiness. That's something that's in us. That's something we have. We have that ability. Don't feel bad about it. Paul looked at Peter one day and said, you're not preaching the same gospel I am. Now here's the real key to all the we haves. We have this treasure 
in earthen vessels that the excellency of the power may be of God and not of us. Now that's really what I've been trying to say. The excellency of power is not in us, it's in Christ. It's in Christ. The excellency of power is not of us, it's of God. Now, all my life, I prayed for power. It's good to pray. It's good to pray long if you feel led. But you can never pray for power because the power is in you. Amen. He that is in you said one time, all power in heaven and earth is given unto me. That was in the kingdom message. But that's the same Jesus that's in you. All power in heaven and earth is given unto me. You have that Christ in you. You say, well, then why can't I exercise it? Because it can only be exercised through the way God created you. Yes. Now, you understand that? He may not created you to heal all the sick and cast out devils or preach the, the gospel like somebody else. He may have created you to be a silent witness. He may have created you to be a teacher and you teach your children. Maybe that's your ministry. Maybe you just write letters to loved ones. Uh, or maybe you pick up the phone when you feel led and call somebody. That's the way you are. Why should you ever think you're anything less than anybody else? Why should we in this group ever think that one is more important than another? Why? The excellency of power is not of us. It's of God. Amen.